Hey everyone, what I have here is a spotlight that mimics the sun. What I mean by that is it has the same characteristics as the sun. If I turn it on, you see this beam of light which projects with parallel rays onto the wall. So it doesn't look like much here, but it actually, it looks really nice. If you look at the Christmas tree, it is really like there is a ray of sunlight shining through the tree which is amazing. It really looks like somebody opened a window and then there's a small light shining through inside of the tree. So I got the idea from another YouTuber, which is DIY Perks. He made an even bigger version of this using a satellite dish, but this one is a bit easier to make. And uh, yeah, it also of course works, uh, it, it, it works a bit less well. But for the price and the size of this lamp, that's perfectly fine. To produce this amount of light, we need a high powered LED. This LED is around 10 watts and produces around 7 watts of heat. Therefore, we need a pretty big heatsink. This is an old heatsink from my Ryzen 5 CPU but I actually put in a bigger heatsink in my computer, so this is left over. It's a 65 watt heatsink, therefore it's big enough, I think, to passively cool the LED. So what I'm gonna try is to remove the fans, attach the, uh, the high-powered LED, and uh, see if it works. The LED is now connected to the LED driver and the power supply. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Whoa, it's quite bright actually. Oh, so you can. This is a magnifier sheet. We're going to measure the correct distance between the LED and the magnifier sheet so we can create parallel light beams. We can do this outside because the sun is so far away that it actually creates parallel light beams. We are outside now and what I wanted to do is I want to measure the focus point using the sun. But maybe as you can see there, is, there isn't really any sun and coming week there also won't be any sun. Uh, well this is the Netherlands in December so um, I think we need to find another way. Basically uh, the idea was at first to hold this against the sun and then let the sun shine through and where the dot is the smallest that's like the ideal distance for uh, the magnifier sheet and the LED to be placed. I think we can also do it the other way around so instead of holding it against the sun I will hold the LED against the magnifier sheet and measure where the shadows stay the same. Because of the parallel rays we need the shadows to be exactly the same so if I hold my hand close to the wall the shadow needs to be the same size as my hand, but if I hold it further away from the wall, it also needs to be the same size as my hand. So let's see if we can do that. I'm moving my hand against the wall and whenever the shadow stays the same, so it doesn't change in size, that means it's the right measurements. For me, that is around 19 centimeters or seven and a half inches. It does change per magnifier sheet, so make sure to measure it yourself. Well, now we have the measurements, let's start building the case.
it works. This is our sunlight spot and it it's pretty cool. It lights up very well. I feel a bit like Metal Gear Solid now, like beep, beep, beep. Ah, enemy spotted. As you can see, the inside of the sunlight spot is colored blue. That's done with blue vinyl wrap. The light bounces off the blue vinyl wrap and creates an illusion of the real blue sky. I wouldn't recommend to use this as an actual light because uh, the like it, it's it's not very big. It only lights up a very small point. If I shine it behind me, you can see it's a very, uh, very small dot that it actually lights up. And that is because of the parallel rays, uh, which we want, of course, to get this effect. So. In the future, I might think to make the like the bigger version from DIY Perks. He used a satellite dish to make like a uh, yeah a version of this which lights your whole room. Uh, that would be even better. I'm actually planning to create a 3D printed version of this in an upcoming project. So what I really want to do is make this look a little bit more professional. I want like a rounded uh, case for it and like really more of a spotlight feeling than this, this, this bulky square. But for now, uh, I think this was really nice and let's see what it looked like in the dark. This is the light that I made. I'm doing a bit of the scary outro. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see a 3D printed version of this light, uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.